India's location was not the only thing that historians found intriguing. Right from the ancient times, many travelers and explorers traversed the lengths and breadths of this vast country in order to understand it a little bit better. For instance, Megasthenes, a Greek historian, came to India during the Mauryan era, around 300 BCE. It is said that he spent years chronicling his different experiences in India. A Moroccan traveler called Ibn Battuta also spent many years in India. He wrote about the reign of the Sultan in Delhi and about his experiences in the southern part of India as well. There have been innumerable accounts of different travelers and historians who have tried to discover India's different facets. Even today, when we travel across India, we realize how large and varied the country is in every sense. In fact, India is one of the largest countries in the world by area. In terms of area, India is the seventh largest country in the world. India's total landmass measures around 3.28 million square kilometers. Russia, Canada, USA, China, Brazil and Australia are the countries that are larger than India. But if you think that this isn't a big deal, let me tell you that there are over 180 countries that are smaller than India. Mm. India's total area makes up about 2.4% of the total geographical area of the world. Alright, that's how India's size stacks up against the rest of the world. So, let's learn a little bit more about the 7th largest country in the world, India. India is a vast country with numerous connections all over the world. We've established that already. Now, exactly how large is this country though? Let's find out. Let's look at the boundary of the country. India has an enormous land boundary. India's land boundary extends to about 15,200 kilometers. total length of the coastline of the Indian mainland along with the islands of Andaman and Nicobar as well as Lakshwadweep is 7,516.6 kilometers. The distance between the westernmost and the easternmost point of the Indian mainland is 2,933 kilometers. The distance between the northernmost and southernmost point of Indian mainland is 3,214 kilometers. Well, that was all about India's extent. By now, I'm sure you're beginning to understand just how large India is. Well, let's go ahead and see what else is there in store. challenges that large countries have to tackle. For example, some may not have a good transport system, making it difficult for people to move around. Or they may not have a good communication system to keep people informed about what's happening in different parts of the country. But we're going to talk about a slightly different kind of challenge. A unique challenge that countries with large areas have to face is that of time. How is that? Well, we know that the local time of a place can be determined by the position of the sun observed from that particular place in a day. But this observation changes the change in the longitude. 